Hello everyone, today I'm gaming here with F123. This is a continuation of season one. The recording kind of got messed up of uh, the races from uh, Spain, Canada, and Austria. But picking up right here in, at Silverstone. So, uh, completed uh, most of the resource point goals. And I'm just going to skip ahead to the race. I figure I said that battle I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go get the resource points and just keep go on. Is there one you out qualifies one Montoya again? Oh yeah, that's the career. It's one Montoya. Max Verstappen is just dominating the season. He's pretty much won every race. He's won everything you could imagine. With Hamilton qualified on the pole, but Max still managed to win by over three seconds over George Russell. Wow. Even though the Haas cars made tremendous upgrades, they still do not have a great race. And, of course, Montoya's car breaks. Before pit stops, even, pit stops even happen, after 13 laps, wow. Max with a 123 point lead over Leclerc, his teammate 131 back. Red Bull lead Ferrari by 161 points, yeah. So pretty much Red Bull has won the Constructors Championship and Max has won the Drivers Championship. Max with a five race lead with It's contract renewal time. So think about if this is where you still want to be. We can try and negotiate a better deal here, but we also have the chance to look elsewhere. Uh, I guess I'm going to stay with him. Here you can make salary demands to the team. Any extra over your base salary will go into your perk fund. The more you demand, the lower the chances of our success. Do make sure that you don't go demanding anything unrealistic for your acclaim level. If you do, the team might refuse to negotiate any more with you in this negotiation period. Hmm. Let's try 175,000. And they took it. Wow. Oh, they're still not going to be upgrading the arrow or the power train, so. Until they do, they're really not going to improve much. Are you kidding me? But some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to tell a team what to redevelop via the R and D screen. I don't even believe they are on the verge of a major breakthrough and require your time in the simulator immediately. It would mean you missing an important meeting with the powertrain department. What should I tell them? Oh, God dang. Seriously? The Hell with it. Wants me to pass on their thanks for helping us. The powertrain department's not going to be happy, but they'll get over it. Rear floor under trace passed, the heave dampers are passed, and I know the spark plugs will pass. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to oh. tell a team what to redevelop via the R and D screen. The heave dampers and rear floor under tray are passed. Energy store sales positioning has failed. Spark plugs passed because it failed the first time, and the turbo reliability has passed. That's 
level two on that one. Yep. So the only thing not level two yet is MGUH, Energy Store, and Control Electronics. Yeah, where Haas got uh, that big upgrade from, I don't know. I really have no clue where it came from. We're about to have a couple major upgrades for the energy, still, energy store sales positioning and redesigned brake ducts for drag reduction. And we cannot get front downforce or rear downforce upgrades until the aero department is upgraded. The aero, our, our aerodynamic facility is upgraded. Same with the powertrain. We can get a few upgrades, but not much. So we're heading to Hungary now. Alpine have fallen. Why? Wow. Wow. They were a midfield team, and they have dropped to the toward the back. Like last week at Silverstone, I'm just going to go after the resource points. Oh well. Hello. I'm not doing another practice session. Cannot get Montoya's driver to claim the right go up, man. It's it's <sighs> the highest he's made it. He's made it to two, but that's it. And it's gonna go down as soon as he loses this competition. The joke on you. Montoya with a 12th place finish. You kidding me? He did beat Joe going you, but Hamilton with another DNF. He had a DNF at Silverstone. Wasn't it? Wasn't it Silverstone? Or was it Austria? I'm sorry, it was Austria. He DNF the sprint race and the main event race. And Max wins again. 141 points ahead of Leclerc, 142 ahead of his teammate. He's almost six races clear of both drivers. Red Bull, 188 points up. Wow, man. Well, I've got to look. I think he's won every race but one. I believe Max has won every single race except for one. Yes. And that was Monaco, and that was won by Lando Norris, who won his very first race ever. Wow. 
Hamilton has dropped behind Lando Norris with a DNF at Austria and then Hungary. A DNF got a pretty much silver star on his home track and then DNF Hungary. Mercedes has taken over the top spot in performance. What? Wow. And what are we going after now? A major upgrade, another major chassis upgrade, improved energy store sales, and a major power, uh, energy power, uh, engine power upgrade with the ignition system. Hell yeah. About time. With those upgrades, my gosh, we could move up to where McLaren and Ferrari are. McLaren, Ferrari, Aston Martin. From what I can tell. Here we go with Spa. It's a sprint race weekend again. That hurts. Definitely going to at least get all three guarantees. Electrical energy store and MG rates is the only things. So he didn't get two resource points. So that'd be alright. We still picked up what? Uh, 500, something like that. when you out qualifies Montoya again. Oh, man. Five twenty-five. Must have a bad sprint race because it went, uh, his driver claim went down again. And Max wins the sprint race. Wow. Last, last in the sprint race. DNF, yep. Him, Daniel, Ricardo, both. Ten laps. Six laps, wow. Couldn't even make it 15 laps. And Perez takes over second in the point standings by three points, 143 back. Red Bull pretty much have a 200 point lead. Five ra Red Bull, wow. Red Bull five races ahead. Okay, Max win his sixth race in a row again. Three, four, yep, he won the first six races and Lando broke the streak. Can Max win his sixth race in a row for the second time this season?
Well, come on. Verstappen should be pleased Max with his performance, wins making gains again. at the top of the table. And after this wow. round of the World Championship, how about how things look in the driver's table. Let's move on to the constructors. And pulling further ahead in the standings, it's Red Bull. It's been an absolutely wild weekend. I've won two sprint races. Uh, wow. Red Bull picked up next. maximum points for this weekend. 59 points. And Kevin Magnuson finally scores points for Haas. George Russell with a DNF. Please tell me it's over. Nope. My gosh. Can't even beat you Joe when you had sad. I'm not saying Joe's a bad driver, it's just we're much better than that team. Take, go ahead and take a penalty. Our new parts have completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. Energy store sales positioning has came on the car, and that's it so far. Waste actuator. Redesign brake ducts that came through. We'll have them with us for the next grand prix. For a team to progress in F1, it's obvious that many elements need to align. Would you consider the most? What would you consider the most important component? Assist for success. Uh, six starts with the team. If you surround yourself with the very best people, everything else would fall into place. When it's a technical showcase, unless you're cons constantly pushing the envelope, you'll always be playing catch up. A thousand driver claim points. Uh, one fan asks, What's your biggest passion aside from Formula One? I honestly can't get enough of cars and speed. My own personal supercar collection is my pride and joy. Simple life. I enjoy a good movie and often have friends around to watch one of the big screen home cinema. Hell, I don't know. Or does it matter? Another thousand driver claim. have completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. And what are we going after next? We added the wing mirrors for drag reduction and DRS activation mechanism. The 
if we can get everything on there by September 7th. We could be up where Ferrari and Aston Martin are at. There we go, heading to heading to Zandvoort in the Dutch Grand Prix. Oh, we're gonna have race rain during the race. Wow. Fifteen minutes. That passed. Wow. Well, we got some. We still didn't get all the resource points. We didn't even have a chance to get it. But. That will do it. Let's head to the race. It's time for the Dutch Grand Prix. Max Verstappen going to try to, he's going for his seventh straight win. Can he win his seventh straight? And so going you out qualifies Montoya and then beats him overall. So he will fall from driver to claim level three back down to two. And Max Verstappen does win his seventh race in a row. One hundred and sixty-four point lead. Leclerc is one hundred and eighty-three back. That's what seven races behind. Yes. Two hundred and fifty-four point lead on Mercedes. Almost. Uh, no. It's pretty close. To, yeah, it's pretty close to six race lead. Williams, Alfa Romeo, and Haas all with one point. Aston Martin only 79. McLaren 197 points. And 145 of those are by Lando. Carlos Sainz, DNF, Lance Stroll, eight laps down. Wow. And it's over. We have lost, officially lost to Joe Guan Yu. Well, at least he's over the driver. He finally made it to driver level two. A claim level two, whatever. Now 
we're heading to Manja. Sooner or later, you'll probably be asked by the media who you consider to be your rival. Think carefully who you select, as while you will receive a claim for beating them, you'll lose a claim if you fail to do so. So we're going after the wing mirrors and the DRS activation mechanism. Uh, chassis, improved energy store cells. And that's it. Yeah, everything else is unavailable, that's why. Yeah, you can only, you have to have the inter improved energy store cells to get all three. The ignition system has to be completed before we can get the stators for the ERS and the ECU for the fuel efficiency. Just behind Haas. So if we can get these upgrades to come through after Monza here. Then we could move just behind Aston Martin. for Monza, wow. systems increase or whatever to lower the price of it can can one one tell you finally score points for the season I could tell by how it went down. The, the qualifying did not go good. The race wasn't too bad. A 14th place finish in the race. Max wins his eighth straight race. Leclerc second, Sainz third, Lando fourth, Alonzo Hamilton, Russell Piastri, Ocon Gasly. Even though Haas performance-wise is higher than Alpine. Alpine is still beating Magnussen and Hulkenberg. Wow. Max with a 189-point lead over his teammate. It's over seven races ahead. 246 point lead on Ferrari. Wow. Almost a six race lead on Ferrari. Everything is almost over already. Max, is, I've never seen anyone be so dominant. 
He has literally won every race but one so far. And that was Monaco. The improved energy source sales came through. The ignition system comes through. Fernando Alonso announces his retirement. We have 5,000 resource points. The wing mirrors and the DRS activation mechanism comes through. Wow. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed. Closer. What are you talking about? Failed. Everything passed. The engine cover failed. Oh, gosh. The ignition system passed. five days the engine cover will be on I don't know hopefully the em that engine cover will be on engine cover re for weight redistribution will be on by the 21st or so within a week we can get it on did we upgrade our facility Require side pod profile. Oh, okay. So the side pod profile, and then we can upgrade our front and rear downforce again. They're both minor upgrades, but at least we can upgrade it. That's a minor upgrade. The engine cover for weight reduction is a major upgrade. And now we can get the stators for the ERS and the ECU for the fuel efficiency. And we're going to get improved energy store sales now. Max for stapping. One, two, three, four. Yep, eight straight wins. Heading to Singapore. Coming off of his eighth straight win. Ain't no way in hell we can keep up with McLaren. God dang. Might be able to beat Valtteri. Might. Definitely won't be able to out-qualify him. Because Montoya cannot out-qualify anyone, apparently. And we have past Haas. So that's not the updated progress history because Ferrari is behind McLaren now. And Aston Martin is third. Mercedes has the best performance car. Wow. Well, let's head to the race weekend and see what it looks like now. even with Ferrari and McLaren and Aston Martin, but we're not far off now. Us and, us and Haas are not far off now. Alpine, Alpha Tori, and Alpha Romeo are at the bottom. There's a decent difference now between Alpine, Alpha Tori, Alpha Romeo, and Haas and Williams. And with the four upgrades we have coming to the car, there is a chance that we could catch Ferrari. I 
And the turbo, did the turbo get upgraded again? store sales energy store and MGUH level 2 we really need to focus on our chassis dur uh, chassis arrow and powertrain when you stop worrying so much about the damn durability Drag reduction. Anyway, let's go for tire wire. No, it failed, but damn it. Now we won't get nothing else. Montoya finally have a good qualifying. Oh, possibility. And he gets out qualified by Valtteri. So no, he does not have a good qualifying. Alex with a ninth place finish. Montoya with the 12th. Wow. Russell breaks Max's streak of eight straight wins. And La Hamilton and Lando completely knock him off the podium. It took all the way until now to keep Max Verstappen off of the podium. My God. Perez, 195 points back. Leclerc, eight. Right at eight races back. Pretty much Perez, Leclerc, and Russell are eight races behind. And Mercedes closes in on Red Bull just a little bit. Almost ran the fastest lap. Only about a tenth of a second off. And we have moved into seventh easily now. We're 32 points behind Alpine for sixth. And 97 behind Aston Martin for fifth.
Wow, for the first time, Juan Montoya leads a rivalry. Wow. Seven races to go. And the engine cover has failed. One, two, three, four, five, seven races. Max has already won the championship. Max has already won the championship. It's over. Red Bull now lead. Have the best performance car again. Well, at least we got the in improved energy store. We'll need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R and D screen. And we're going after a major arrow upgrade to the maximum slot got slat maximum slot gap for the uh, DRS. And we will have the major uh, chassis upgrade for the engine cover and the minor weight redistribution engine cover upgrade. Heading to Japan. Seven races remaining in the season. Kidding me? Screw it! My God! When we get five twenty-five. Both try to get 525 resource points. And Montoya increased the driver claim three again. And he does not out qualify Valtteri again. Back down to level two. My God, can he have a good race at least? Ah, uh, a pretty good race, 12th. Hamilton with a win, Russell second, Leclerc third, Norris fourth, Carlos Sainz fifth, George, uh, Perez sixth, Verstappen seventh. 
But Max has already won the championship. Russell and Prez, Russell, Prez, and Leclerc all tied for second place right now with six races to go. Red Bull lead Mercedes by 211 points. That's about five races. Just under five races, so Red Bull still needs to pick up some points. Alex, seven points behind Pierre Gasly. Eight behind Lance Stroll for 11th. Montoya beats Valtteri, so he picks up two points on him, so he repasses Valtteri. Eight to seven. And he's back up to driver claim level three. Uh oh. And there must be an engine issue during the race. We know the engine cover distribution will pass. Will the MGU-8 pass? Yes. Okay, we've had the new parts come through the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. And we'll get seven days where we could have the side pod profile. Eight days the DRS maximum slot gap which will unlock the forward floor fences for the arrow and the halo for the rear, rear down force. Brakes, we can get brake disc width. That's a major upgrade. No, we can't yet. We still gotta get the hydraulics before we can. Four days, we will have the engine cover. Lightweight pistons. It's a minor engine upgrade. And we're Haas has pulled away a little bit. And now Aston Martin, Red Bull, Mercedes, McLaren, and Ferrari all right together. Beginning of the season, Red Bull was so far ahead of everyone, it was unreal. And now everyone has caught Red Bull. With two major upgrades, we could get close to McLaren. And everything's within eight days. So after Qatar, we could have, could be very close to the top five teams. Max, after winning 14 of the first 15 races, has not been on the podium. Lando, George Russell, and Lewis Hamilton. Max is already a champion. He's so far ahead that he can literally sit the reigning six races out, and they cannot catch him. They can only score, what, 156 points? He's almost 200 points ahead. Now, Mercedes could catch them and take the Constructors' Championship away. But I got a feeling Max is probably going to go out this weekend and win the sprint race and the main event race. Yeah. 
16 minutes. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Six more minutes. No, it failed. I don't know, it takes 12 minutes. Oh well, we'll try this. And it passed, so we got all the resource points. And it'd been nice to have that weight redistribution when both of those weight redistributions when the ERS's all three of them and all three ERS ones. Oh well. And it's time to go to sprint racing again. Valtteri out qualifies Montoya again, but Montoya does not drop below driver claim three this time. So if Montoya can have a good sprint race, he could go back up. And no. George Russell with the sprint win. Max 7th. Uh-oh. Perez 5th. So Red Bull, Red Bull scores 6 points. Montoya 17th. George up to 2nd now. 3 points ahead of Leclerc. 4 ahead of Perez. Lewis Hamilton is 18 points behind. Mercedes 200 points behind Red Bull. What's going to happen in the main event? George and Ham Russell and Hamilton are going to have a, a one two finish again. Our championship leader is still sat at the top of the standings, but their rivals have George been Russell up some solid round two. today. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. No change in the top spot then, but with today's points, their hold on that lead is getting weaker. Perez fifth for Stappen like seventh. Knows what the sport has in store for Valtteri beats Montoya. Sure Lando and Piet McLaren have a horrible weekend. Piastri finishes last in the sprint race. Lando finishes eighth. Wow. Now we're heading to Coda. And that hurt. That really hurt Montoya. Now he's four points behind Valtteri. Mm. 
the driver claim does go up a little bit. I have less than I have four minutes of record time remaining on this, so I'm gonna stop it right here. Well had a test department started stated their opinion on where to we should take our development next. They brought up some good points, but it goes against your recent contract. Uh, go with it. That way, the chassis department does not go into negatives. I know these kinds of decisions can be challenging, but I think you made the right call. And Red Bull now looks like they're only 174 points up on. Mercedes with five races to go Mercedes pretty much have to have a one two result the rest of the season but but the way their car development's gone it, it's it's a chance they could and heading to Coda we're gonna just give new components all new components for the uh, final five races, yeah. Side part profile. Oh, it failed! Damn it! DRS maximum slip gap uh, pass though. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. We'll need Damn it! That passed. The side part profile failed. That would have gave us a chance to upgrade our front and rear downforce. Engine cover has passed. So now we can focus on uh, hydraulics. We gotta have the hydraulics before we can upgrade the brake di brake brake disc width. We're going to have the control of electronics improved. But that will do it for now. Heading to race 19. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the hit like button. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Share the video as much as you possibly can. Comment on the video. When we come back, we'll be finishing up the season. The final five races and hopefully you get the off season over with and head into season number two hope everyone has a wonderful day this is damn gaming saying i will see y'all next time